Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to cover number operations. And so we're just gonna start back from where we were at last in our c -sharp basics. And we're just gonna dive right in. So right now I have my last section. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, add my section break, which is already right here. And we're just gonna make our title. So I'm just gonna make my title equal to number operators and uh, I defined my title as a string uh, up towards the top somewhere here there we go so uh, if you don't have that and you're just jumping right into this video go ahead and just make string title and you're gonna be all set to go and I'm just gonna do dotnet run and we should have some of the last stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, go up here. We're gonna leave the section break just visually. I'm just gonna add a console.clear and there we go. And then let's go ahead and do a console.write line and print out title. Oops, title, there we go. Perfect. All right, so number operators. Uh, we, we've talked about what numbers are and how we could have the different types, but um, yeah, we haven't really gone through just the normal operations you can do. So we're just gonna go through all of those. So let's go ahead and first start with adding num variables and a total. So uh, first things first, if I do int num1, it's gonna give me a red because I already have that assigned. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just say num1. I'm gonna just reset this. So I'm gonna say num1 equals four, and I'm just gonna say int num2 equals seven. And what we're gonna do is now declare uh, a total and we will use it below. So we're gonna split this up. So we're gonna just say, hey, you know what? I wanna use a variable called total. I'm gonna make it a double for now. Uh, I could make it an int, but uh, actually let's do an int first so then you guys could see this. So int total, okay? So what I'm doing is uh, just prepping our variable, but I have not put a value in it and it cannot be used as is. So let's go ahead and add some numbers together. So adding two numbers. So this is pretty straightforward. You go total equals, and we're gonna just say num1 plus num2. So let's go ahead and print this out. So we're just gonna say console.write line, and uh, we're just gonna do uh, num1. So num1 uh, plus num2 equals total. And we're gonna close that. We're just gonna make sure everything looks good. And we're just gonna hit run. There we go. Awesome. So we got our first one. So let's go ahead and move to subtracting. So subtracting. And we're just gonna take the same variables and we're just gonna say total equals num1 minus num2. And then let's go ahead and do a console.write line to the same thing. And honestly, you could copy paste from the top, or you can do what I'm doing, which is um, if you like the repetition and you kind of want to get used to it all, uh, this is a great way of doing it. Uh, it does get tedious after a while, but um, it's a great way to kind of just kind of make sure you're uh, getting used to typing it in the right format and making sure things happen. So um, now we should have here and what we have is uh, four minus seven equals a negative three, which is correct. So now what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and do dividing, dividing. So total equals num one divided by num two. And we use the, the forward slash for that. And I'm just gonna jump into console.write line and same thing, I'm just gonna say num1, divide that by num2 equals total.
total. There we go. And I forgot quotes. There you go. This is also a great way of just getting used to that. So I'm going to hit space and let's see. Let's make sure this came out right. All right. So I got zero. So uh, what's going on here? So I, earlier I kind of told you guys to make your total an integer. So when we do four divided by seven, you're going to get a decimal point. And since it's an integer, it's going to just chop that off and save a whole number, which is zero because it's zero point the value, right? So we need to go back up here and we're just going to say double. There we go. And now if we rerun this, we will, did I hit save? Let me do that one more time. Cause I'm not sure if I, let's see. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I probably should make these double then. Right. So let's go ahead and, uh, try this one more time. And what we're going to do is create doubles to test this. Right. So uh, I'm going to say double, that's kind of redundant, but double num one equals 4.0 and then do double double num two equals 7.0. All right. Let's give this a shot. Double one divided by double num two there we go and then we're just going to write this out console dot right line and we're just going to go through this and go double num one and double num two equals total and all right let's give this a shot now And there we go. So uh, based on the types of the data type, the value is your gut the kind of helps shift how you're going to handle divide and so forth. So th the general rule would be just to keep it as a double and use that. But feel free to use uh, floats or wh whatever you might need based on the type of calculations you're doing. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go to multiplication. So, oh, whoops, uh, multiple multiplication. Let's see. All right, there we go. Um, total equals num one. And I'm just going to go back to num one, num two, just because it's a little bit easier. And I'm going to do console dot right line of this again. Let's see num one. This time we use the star for multiply and num two and that equals total. There we go. And I'm going to hit save, hit run, and we should now have, there we go. So we got 28. Now, uh, this is where like the fun begins, right? So you, you know how to add. Subtract, divide, multiply, changing the number types. Now what we're going to do is uh, just make sure we go over uh, parentheses and like order of operations and so forth. So you can really kind of tweak around how you want to do um, your, your conditions in terms of like, uh, you want to wrap around parentheses, it's going to execute that first, then it's going to go to multiple uh, multiplication, divide, add and subtract. So let's go ahead and just do something real quick right here. So I am going to, let's see, let me, let me just write this out real quick. Order of operations, right? Operations. And that's parentheses, multiple, multiply, divide, add, subtract. There we go. So I'm just going to say total equals two plus three times five divided by five minus three. 
I have no idea what the heck this is gonna equal. So let's figure it out. All right, so right line, and I'm just gonna write this out. What did I do? Two plus three times that by five, divided by five minus three, there we go, equals total. And I really just did this so then I could have it printed out at least. Let's see what, what's gonna come out. All right, two. Okay, so now when you kind of look at how this is done, you can kind of look and go, okay, well, multiplication's gonna happen first, and it's gonna break down and do these processes, right? So what happens if I decide to just change this up and do all of this first, right? Like, you just play around with that and just remind yourself that we do follow the actual operations uh, like you've done in math class and so forth. So. Just know that's there. Uh, it's really up to you on um, making sure you break it so break it down so it's easily readable for you as well. So we've in this video we've gone over the basics of uh, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, as well as um, just talking a little bit about order of operations. This order of operations will come into play a little bit more when we're talking about conditionals and things of that nature, just remember anything in parentheses gets grouped together and you just kind of take it from there. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and close out this section. So console.writeLine and then console.writeLine and put in my section break and there we go. And we will now move on to the next piece.